even the best set of shocks in the world will ride and perform like absolute garbage with the wrong set of springs. So today, let's talk some springs. The two things you really need to know about a coil spring are its length or its rate or rates. The lengths we need to know are its free length or free height, basically how long the spring is when there's no load on it, and its block length or its fully compressed length when it's squished all the way down and all the wires in the wrap are touching each other. Knowing those will allow you to know how much travel you can have in your suspension while the springs are still happy. This is incredibly important on applications with separate coil springs and chunks because obviously it helps you determine travel, but on coil over strut applications, it also lets you know basically how much preload adjustment you can have before unseating or breaking coils. On leaf springs, you need to know how many springs are in the pack, how much free arc it has or how much arc it has when there's no load on it, and how stiff it is overall, how stiff it is in spring rate, and additionally, how stiff or how thick those individual leaf springs are. Most coil springs are at a linear rate, which means they're just one spring rate throughout the whole coil, but there are many options to have dual, multi-rate, or even progressive springs on coil springs. Now, leaf springs are generally either a two or multi-stage or they're progressive so let's talk about how all of that works dual or multi-rate coils basically have multiple defined spring rates throughout the spring and they generally have a primary rate a tender rate or a bump rate or all three your primary rate or the primary spring is the one that is engaged in operating at ride height your bump or bottom out spring your rate is rate or spring that engages when the suspension is about to bottom out and gives you a little step up in stiffness to help keep you from slamming hard. And the tender rate is one that basically stays fully compressed at ride height and is only there to maintain adequate spring engagement or preload when the suspension extends. On a progressive rate coil, there are multiple spring rates, but to truly be progressive, do not jump up in rate in a stepwise fashion. It should be a smooth progressive change. Where things can get a little tricky with these coil springs is that when all of those rates are actively working and none of them are fully compressed or blocked out, you are getting an average of all of those spring rates. So if it's a dual rate spring and you have the upper spring rate is a 500 pound and the lower spring rate is a 200 pound, well, you're going to end up at around a 350 pound per inch true spring rate when both springs are working at the same time. Now, like I said, leaf springs can be progressive or multi-stage basically just like coil springs a progressive leaf pack progressively gets stiffer as it compresses and happens very smoothly a multi-stage leaf pack does have progressive action but but each stage has a defined increase in spring rate and those are usually the better option for carrying load but if you're interested in figuring out how to choose the right springs and pair the right shocks with those springs make sure you stay tuned for part two